This is William Sadiq Bandele Mensah, popularly known as Cochito. He is the father of Black Stars player Gideon Mensah. He is a steel bender and usually visits the capital for business. He is on one of his usual visits to Accra, but this time his trip has been met with utter excitement. Gideon Mensah, AG Oxer. Gideon Mensah has been included in Ghana's final squad for the 2022 World Cup. William, his father, tells me there is no greater feeling. I am a dad. I was happy when I heard the news. The entire family was fulfilled seeing him listed in Ghana's final squad. When I sit behind the television and radio listening to people predicting the squad, he's the first to be mentioned in his position. And as a father, I'm very much pleased. Gideon's love for football was realized at a very early age, even before he could walk. Mr. Mensah noticed this and offered him the necessary support right from infancy to ensure that he gets every chance of turning professional one day. When Gideon started crawling, I realized he can become a footballer. So I bought him a ball. Throughout his infancy, his talent became evident. As a father, I gave him all my support to make him realize his potential. Mensa grew up in Dunkwa, 83 kilometers away from Ghana's second city, Kumasi. But a visit to the coastal city of Cape Coast changed his fortunes. What was supposed to be a one-day visit became a permanent stay after impressing the coach of a local team. Mensa's dad had to go back home for his son's clothes and personal belongings. Cape Coast had become his new home. Gideon started his career at Dunkwa and I was his first coach who trained him. I sent him to a football academy in Obuase when he was seven years old, where he spent two years. Before moving him to South Pond, they told me he was going to spend a week before his justified. Just after the training, the coaches wanted me to leave him behind. But I disagreed because they had told me earlier he needed to be assessed for some days before the justifier. I took him home and returned the next day with his luggage and then left him. At just 10 years, Gideon was separated from his family and began on a path to his dreams. A move his father and mother didn't necessarily agree on. I wasn't worried leaving him at the academy. She fought me because she thought Gideon would get missing, but that was not going to happen. So I went to buy his mattress and other essentials and left him for the coaches. Gideon Mensa grew up idolizing Marcelo. The Brazilian in the modern era became the embodiment of the ultimate attacking fullback. His achievements and impact have led to a new school of fullbacks aspiring to reach similar levels one day. And Gideon is no different. For the Auxerre left back, attacking is a part of his fabric due to his exploits during his youth days. Gideon started, six. Gideon started playing as a number 6, 10 and 11. He started at Feyenoord and went for the Milo games in 2009. He failed and returned to the games in 2010 as the general captain of the Central Region team. At the Milo Games, he was deployed as a left back and Feyenoord continued to use him in that position. Gideon can play as a winger. During my time, I was right footed and played as a left back. So I'm not surprised to see him playing the same position now. With Gideon now set to compete at the biggest stage where millions of fans expected to watch him, Mr. Mensa says he still hasn't come to terms with a thought as it feels like a dream. I become overjoyed and at times I shed tears for what the Lord has done. For a young boy to get these achievements, I get overwhelmed. But in all, we are happy to see our son on television with the whole world watching him. The young Gideon Mensa will head to Qatar with optimism and belief that he can make an impact at the Mundial. His dad will also be cheering him on behind the television here, knowing that he made the right decision in trying to help his son to the top.